Ikwere, Ogba, and other Igbo groups. After the failed Niger Delta Republic agitation, the Igbo groups in River State must now face reality. They are left with little choice but to begin reconciliatory moves with the Igbo of the Southeast. The groups involved will include chiefly Ikwere, Ogba, Ichi, etc. The reconciliatory moves will also include honest proclamations and loyalty to the Biafran cause. In the upland Igbo area of the state, the HDI level is lower than what is obtainable in Aniyama and the southeast. Most of the oil wealth is derived from Anauga and Obi Igbo. Another important economic area found in the Igbo areas is the natural gas plant at Boni. Kalabari. Kalabari comprises of Igbo and Ijo peoples and would have a split allegiance. The Igbo side would choose the Biafran Republic and the Ijo side would prefer going with the Ijo Republic. However, the Kalabari people have an ancestral connection to the Igbos and the relationship between both groups remains strong. Kalabari will go with the Biafran Republic. Ogoni. After the failure of the Niger Delta Republic agitation, the Ogoni people are now left to fend for themselves and look for allies. Neither the Biafran Republic, Ibom Republic or Ijo Republic are interested in co-opting the Ogoni people. As they have no immediate allies and allegiances, the Ogoni people can choose to become an independent nation to be known as Sarawawa Republic, and the related Elamer people may join the arrangement. The Ogoni people trace an ancestral line to Ghana and the West African country may be of assistance to the Ogoni people when they choose to go it alone. If Elamer goes with the Ogoni arrangement, then Sarawawa Republic takes possession of the seaport at On Elamer. If however, the Ogoni cannot go it alone as Sarawawa Republic, they may need to go cap in hand to plead with Ibom Republic to be added in.